I need to learn how to sing. Good morning everybody, what is happening, what is going on, welcome to the Arctic. We are in Canada, we arrived in Canadian waters yesterday, um, before then we were in Greenland and we've just parked up, we had a bit of a stormy night last night, um, it was 50 knot winds, headwind, um, despite that got an okay sleep, uh, but Chris Hadfield, Commander Chris Hadfield um, is going to do a little talk in a local town in a tiny little school which looks even smaller than yesterday's town which I didn't think you could get any smaller. I'm going to go with him and Evan over to the town in a helicopter. We're also switching helicopters now from those Russian helicopters, old school helicopters. We're switching them out for Canadian helicopters. I don't know why. Just in case this is the first Arctic vlog that you're watching of mine, we've been here for over a week now on this boat. Captain Klebnikov. Uh, it's a Russian icebreaker. It's absolutely incredible. We're just having a great time up here in the Arctic. Uh, we're here with a whole bunch of talented people, content creators, writers, musicians, and we're basically here to make art. And I'm documenting it. Ah, merci. You know how to fly these things, right? I do. Yeah. Is it just us in the back? Yeah. Oh, this is our yeah. Special you know, this is like my favorite thing to do ever. That's a more fun seat belt than the last one. Yeah, it's a little more Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> Merci, monsieur. En français, en anglais? Uh, uh, anglais. Both. Then en anglais. Okay. So we'll do in English. Great. Everybody, this is our pilot, Dave. <laughs> Dave, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Hi. I can hear myself now, excellent. <laughs> How are you doing, He's ben. here to make sure that everything here is seen Nice by to the meet world. you. Nice to meet you too. How are you? Make sure yeah. you capture everything. I got it. Ben. Hi, Susie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Ben. Ben? Nice to meet you. How are you doing, man? I'm McDonald. Nice to meet you. Chris. Nice to meet you. How are you doing, Ben? How long have you guys been up here? I've been up here for a month. He's been up here for a year. You guys live here? Yeah. How is it? Uh, it's okay. It's good. Yeah. What's a lot of hunting? What's your favorite part? Hunting? 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 Skidoing? Skidoing? Yeah. Dirt bike. No, I saw, is that your dirt bike? bike? I had my eye on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to uh, Greece Fjord, one of the most northern towns. In the world. In the world. Yeah. One Hectic. Of the 150 people or so. Got a little bit of surf. Should have bought my surfboard and my wetsuit. Yeah, taking some pictures. What's your name? AJ. AJ. Ben, nice to meet you. Hi, Ben. How are you? Cool bike, man. Thank you. That's awesome. There's another Ben. Is there? Yeah. Right there. Oh, cool. Hi. How you doing, man? Good. Is this your school? Whoa, good balancing skills. Northern school in the country, third in the world. Wow. Okay. 
or don't litter. Brilliant. Look after the bears. I'll use a black one. Tell myself this every morning. <laughs> yeah, me too, dude. Mantra. Short people's mantra. We have a very, very special guest here this afternoon with us. We're very, very fortunate. Chris Hadfield, retired. And uh, he'd spent quite some time up in the space station, the International Space Station. I've lived all over the world, but I'm from Canada, and I've flown a lot of different airplanes and helicopters, about a hundred different types of airplanes and helicopters. And I'm also one of Canada's astronauts. And if you look on the $5 bill, there's a picture of, the ast of an astronaut on the back of a $5 bill doing, doing a spacewalk, and that, that's me. When we fly a spaceship, we launch our rocket ship, and then we get going fast enough that we go around the whole world 16 times a day, eight kilometers a second. And so I've been around the world about 2,600 times. Our spaceship has 80 million horsepower. 80 million horsepower. That's how much power it takes. And it's underneath you to push you to get you going fast enough to go around the world. Go ahead and ask Damien, what's your question? How did you get back? How did we get back? All right. So it's a good question. So here we are. This is our little ship. We're going around the world at eight kilometers a second. And standing behind me, this gentleman over in the corner, where are you from, Ben? London. You know what Ben does is he looks at what people are doing that's interesting and he makes a video about it on, on YouTube. And that's, that's what he does for his job. And the whole world gets to understand each other a little bit better by seeing the world through his camera. Put up your hands if you know YouTube. Mm -hmm. If you look under Ben Brown, you can see all of the various movies and ideas and stories that Ben has talked about, about the whole world and ideas and what people are doing. And I thought it was the same thing on a spaceship. Because a spaceship is just a place that people live, just like, just like London and just like wherever, Toronto. Uh, did you have a question also? Mm -hmm. Number two. Oh, <laughs> oh this, is a, this is a good question. So number one is mostly water, right? When you pee, it's a little bit yellow, but it's mostly water. And so on board the spaceship, we, um, we process our pee back into water. But number two, uh, it's messier. So when you're sitting on the toilet here, first you pull your pants down, then you sit down, then you put your seat belt on so you don't float away. And then, instead of gravity pulling everything into the toilet, what you do is you throw a couple switches in the wall, and there's big fans, and it pulls air down into the toilet. So suddenly it's like, makes this noise like, like a vacuum cleaner starting up. And then you can feel all the air sort of blowing by you down into the toilet. It's kind of, kind of breezy sitting on the toilet. And everything that comes out of your body gets pulled down into the toilet. Number two, it goes down into a different tank, Anyway, when it's completely full, you seal it up tight, and then that goes into um, our little unmanned robot ship. And that robot ship, sort of like you have a resupply ship coming tomorrow, I think, right? Comes a couple times a year. On the spaceship, we have resupply ship that comes about once a month. And they bring all fresh food, but when they're going back, we fill them up with our garbage and our number two. When it's completely full, we close the hatch and we undock it and it starts to fall into the atmosphere, and it's going so fast that it's not just the pressure of the atmosphere, but the atmosphere actually burns it up. And it, it burns up. We incinerate our garbage, including our number two. Have you ever looked up in the sky and seen a shooting star? So that might be astronaut poo up there <laughs> burning up like There you go, you learn something new every single day. Every single day you learn something new. Beautiful, everybody smile like James did. All right, James, that's good. You're looking good, I'm loving it. Thank you. Roman Atwood. I love his pranks. What kind of Yeah, good pranks. YouTube, just daily videos. Oh, sure. On here? On the back? Right in the back. Right just down here? Anywhere. Okay. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. you Thank too. you so much. Do you know um, Herder of Buffalo, George Benson? Yeah, he lives down the road from me now. Oh yeah? Yeah. He's teaching me how to play FIFA. I'm not very good. I have a YouTube channel, but 
Do you? Oh, yeah. But you have a phone, right? Your phone do video? Couple. Yeah, there you go. That's all you need to start. There you go, vlogging. Really? You're a vlogger now. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay, bye. 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 See, so you can take oh, I need this. Yeah, I need this. Thank you very much. See you guys later. Welcome to Umanak School, Canada's most northern school. All right, we're walking out. Thanks very much. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much, everyone. Well, that was a successful mission. What's your YouTube channel name? Uh, ben Brown. See you dudes later. Pleasure. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. Back to the mothership. Tim and I are on a bit of a light mission. There's some nice low low sunshine coming through. Woo! It's chilly. Oh yeah, there is some nice light coming through actually. Will you go? No. <laughs> Inside there like I'm gonna shoot. Looking pensively. Yeah. Okay. Looking pensively. I can uh, do yeah, that. This is less of you as action Ben and more as thoughtful. Yeah. Ben. Thought I can do thoughtful Ben. Thoughtful Ben, thoughtful Ben, thoughtful Ben. It's my time to shine. These are the controls. Ship. Here's a fun fact. Captain Klebnikov has 24,000 horsepower. Okay, we've got a bit of live music tonight. From uh, Commander Chris Hadfield and Danny. The musician in our squad. Whoa, nearly lost my favorite hat ever. This is the Iron Beach. It's so warm. But it also stinks of diesel. <laughs> do, you, do you have a baby for me? <laughs> a what? Baby. I'm so confused right now. Right? Thank you. Wait, right, cheers, guys. Yeah, I know. Danny, what are you playing for us tonight? I'm gonna play a brand new song I just wrote called Kalebnikov. Oh yeah. It's not even finished. Nice. Commander Hadfield warming the crowd up. Good lighting. He said no. This is awesome. So, uh, yesterday was my birthday. Yay! Yeah, happy birthday. It's a ridiculous way to start a talk. We just thought it would be fun to play tonight. This is uh, Danny Michelle, who is a, uh, a songwriter. Thank you. Who has released nine albums? How about that? He has nine albums out, uh, all an amazing collection of original music. And Danny, um, Danny not only plays live. <laughs> I think you should be closer to the camera. Uh, well, I'm going to play you a song I just wrote. It's not finished, but I don't care, right? It's okay. So I'm going to read the words. And I need four verses, and I only have three. I need four verses, and I only got three. And, it's, and I'm trying to make it, you know, have a, a, a Russian feel. So it's going to, okay, I don't know it yet. So let me think. Oh, wait. and forth, dodging icebergs, changing course, along the frozen fjord, everything screwed to the floor, <laughs> it's the end, there's nothing left, in the sled dog's frozen breath, the sun burns the moon away, the constellations hide their face. Back to Kalebnikov. For hot soup and vodka shots <laughs> Songs with cosmonauts <laughs> On Kalebnikov <laughs> Canada What 
cross with Canada. We got great big cities and a lot of trees and rocks. Yeah, the winter's cold here. Wear two pairs of socks. We got half the world's fresh water to paddle your canoe or camp along the shoreline. It's what we like to do in Canada. Can you record this? Because I have something I don't want to forget. Okay. Is it going? Yeah, it's going. Yeah, it's going. That's it. No, 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 Get it, Cause tomorrow I'll wake up and go. Oh, what was that? So I'm gonna. I'm nice. gonna Give thank me a big you. high five for that performance and your right. as well. You guys Kevin, smashed Kevin that. Was... Right, you guys have to go and check Danny out. I will link everything to do with Danny in the description, including his home address. <laughs> I sold sure my house. I have no home. Go and check out his music. Thanks, dude. Kevin. Really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed that. I love that live music. So good. So good. Yeah, Danny. Is amazing. Danny. So and, is Chris. Yeah, I mean, Chris incredible. Was so entertaining the stories that he was telling through his music. I mean, that that's like any of these art forms. You, you find a way to tell your story through something. And yeah, Danny. Amazing, amazing stories. I love how they explain the song for each one too. Feeling very inspired. Yeah. I'm yeah. feeling full of like. I'm just feeling very happy. Me too. Very that, happy that after that. Made, yeah, it made me feel so happy. I mean, I, I looked down the room and there's people of all ages and there's this, you know, older woman who I saw who the entire trip I've seen her like kind of nervous and scared about everything we we're doing. And I I saw when she was listening to those songs by Dan, just the biggest smile on her face. Yeah. It's, yeah, it just made me happy. It's so good. Yeah, it's been an unusual day. I wasn't even going to vlog today because it was, we, we weren't going to go over to the land, but the school uh, actually requested because they knew Chris was on the boat and as soon as they saw the boat, um, Commander Chris Hadfield was requested to the school. There was no way you can say no, so they just made it happen. I was very lucky to be invited over there and film a little talk that Chris did and I met a whole bunch of kids. It made me really think about a lot of things and, and firstly I, I just want to address how lucky I am to be on this boat with the incredible commander Chris Hadfield. I, I never really considered quite how incredible astronauts really are. So knowledgeable, they have to be able to fix anything, they're mechanics and they're scientists and they don't just go up to space and chill out, they're there working and grafting for the whole time um, Chris was in charge and commanding the space station, he was grafting and in his spare time was taking every opportunity to, he could to create art and learn and write songs. He wrote a whole album on the space station and recorded it up there too. That's available to, to buy and all the, all the proceeds go to charity. He took photos and he created with the help of Evan his son down on Earth and I just think not every human can be an astronaut but certainly not every astronaut is trying to do that kind of thing as well. As I'm learning more about Chris and Evan and the team but particularly Chris I'm, I'm just feeling very inspired and kind of overwhelmed at how amazing he is as a human. It's most certainly one of the best humans I've ever met in my whole life and I get, get quite emotional when I meet people like that and just I'm just full to the brim and overflowing with inspiration and love and happiness and yeah, it's just been a big day. Just been a big day. I feel like 
There are certain people that you meet in your life which help you to change course or confirm that you're on the right course in life and Chris definitely definitely is one of those people and today was one of those days that I won't forget. I know now that all I really want to do with my time on this planet is just be the very best human I can be. Wherever that takes me, by the time I finish, this is getting very deep, by the time I finish my life, I'll have done everything that I possibly can do and, and I also feel like I'm on that course. I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm gonna stop ranting and talking about this kind of thing now, but you get the idea. We're halfway through now, aren't we? Yeah, halfway through. About uh, nine or 10 more days, eight, nine, 10 days. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. It doesn't feel like we've been on here for 10 days. No. Or how many days, but same experience for me. I'm so inspired. I can't wait to you know, create content from this trip, but then also go back refreshed and yeah just start in a whole new way so yeah it's really it's really been so so inspiring yeah you mean just your outlook or my outlook and types of stuff i'm creating the, the reasons that i'm creating it too i think that's really important to think why we're making these videos like what's what's the end result and i've had a lot of time to to think on this trip just no distractions i think for everyone on this trip it's been really as ben was saying and inspiring and important time probably for all of us in our at, at this point in our careers and lives so yeah it's yeah. been awesome it's exactly what i feel like i need i didn't even know i needed it yeah i didn't know i needed it either i thought this was gonna be another trip that i'd be really tired and like stressed by the end of it but it's been the exact opposite which was not expecting at all it's just so good um and on that note I will sign off. I will see you guys tomorrow for more Arctic adventures now in Canada. Coming live, not live. <laughs> Don't forget also, by the time these are going out, we're gonna be uploading Instagrams, photos that we're taking as well. If we wanna check those out, I'm gonna link all of Tim's stuff in the description. 100% go and check Tim's YouTube channel out as well. Go and give him a little sub because I've seen some of the shots that he's been taking on this. You, you guys are in for a treat. We're all in for a bit of a treat. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. In the meantime, remember to work hard, be nice to people, and try not to get lost or killed. I love you guys. Goodbye. Nice to meet you, Mikhail. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, what? Cold. Oh, cold. cold hands. Oh, no. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Good. <laughs> Good. Good.